Will you walk with me through the timeless wisdom of the Bible and discover its enduring lessons that can guide and empower our daily lives? Within its sacred pages are profound insights that spoke to the hearts and minds of people in ancient times and yet remain startlingly relevant even today. As we journey through 10 key principles, I invite you to open your mind to glimpses of truth that can enrich your days and light your path ahead. The first lesson I wish to share is about kindness. Countless verses in the Bible remind us of the importance of showing compassion to others. In Matthew 7:12, Jesus himself stated, do to others what you would have them do to you. When we treat people, even strangers, with kindness and care, we affirm their humanity and dignity. Small acts of kindness, like helping an elderly neighbor carry groceries or donating to a cause that aids those in need, can bring light to another's day and spread goodness in the world. Kindness is a choice we make each day. We have the power to choose compassion over indifference. Cultivating kindness in our interactions, big or small, enriches our own lives as well. Another life lesson drawn from the Bible is about forgiveness. In Matthew 6, 14, 15, Jesus teaches, For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. Holding on to anger, resentment, or the desire for revenge often harms us more than the one who wronged us. Forgiveness does not necessarily mean condoning hurtful actions, but rather choosing to let go of bitterness and move forward in peace. When we forgive from our hearts, we unburden ourselves and allow spiritual and emotional healing to take place. The Bible reminds us that none of us are without fault, and so we must be willing to forgive others as we wish to be forgiven. Practicing forgiveness fosters compassion and grace. A third principle is finding purpose and meaning through service. In Mark 10.45, Jesus declared, For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Serving others through our talents and abilities is one way we honor God and make positive impacts. When faced with injustice, suffering, or human need, the Bible repeatedly calls us to care for the vulnerable and disadvantaged among us. Whether through volunteering time and energy at a homeless shelter, advocating for those without a voice, mentoring youth, or a myriad other ways, service connects our lives to something greater. Discovering what causes stir our souls and bring us joy through contributing to others' well-being is one step towards uncovering our purpose. A life of purpose finds fulfillment through lifted others up. Another lesson I wish to highlight is about contentment and gratitude. In 1 Timothy 6, 6, 8, the scripture explains, but godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into the world and we can take nothing out of it. But if we have food and clothing, we will be content with that. So often we define happiness based on material wealth, accomplishments, or fame. Yet the Bible points us to a truer path of appreciating deeply what we already have. Our health, loved ones, basic provisions, and life itself are all gifts. When we cultivate an attitude of gratitude for blessings both great and small, it enlarges our capacity for joy and shields us from envy. Contentment does not mean settling for less but recognizing the fullness within simplicity. Focusing on being thankful for each new day fosters inner peace that no possession can ever bring. I will now turn to another principle from the scripture, the importance of respect. In Ephesians 6, 1, 3, it instructs, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise so that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on the earth. Respecting authority and each other is a building block of just, harmonious communities according to the Bible. When we treat all people, regardless of status, age or beliefs, with courtesy, dignity and value their inherent worth, it uplifts the human spirit for both parties. 
Simple gestures like making eye contact, actively listening without judgment, and using respectful speech can affirm common ground between ourselves and others whom we may differ from. Respect extends not just to humans, but also nature and the world we share. Living respectfully cultivates healthy relationships and a more peaceful world. The next principle is patience. In James 1, 3, 4 it says, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Life will inevitably bring difficulties, delays and challenges that try our fortitude. The Bible reminds us it is not the absence of troubles, but how we face them that strengthens our character. With patience we can weather even storms that seem to last forever. When times are hard and frustrations mount, pausing to take a calming breath before responding and seeing setbacks as opportunities to grow are virtues that the Bible uplifts. Exercising patience in ourselves and with others helps develop inner stability, compassion and resilience that serves us well each day. No matter what comes our way, with patience and faith, we find strength for the journey. Another principle drawn from Scripture is about humility. In 1 Peter 5, 5 and 6, it says, God opposes the proud but shows favor to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. True humility is acknowledging we do not have all the answers and remaining teachable. It is recognizing our shared human frailties and dependencies on one another. Rather than loudly boasting or putting others down to elevate the self, humility uplifts both self and community through quiet acts of service done for their own sake. When we approach life and relationships with humility, it creates space for wisdom, care, compassion and unity to grow. Humble people walk securely, follow high principles, and recognize the light within each soul, their own and others. Practicing humility daily guides us to favor cooperation over conflict. Work ethic and diligence comprise another tenet evident in the Bible. In Proverbs 12.24 it states, Diligent hands will rule, but laziness ends in forced labor. According to scripture, we were created to be productive and are called to meaningful purpose-driven activity, whether in vocations that feed families or volunteering to strengthen society. Idle hands lose opportunities, and an idle mind fills with worry or worse. The Bible teaches diligence as finding fulfillment in work done well. Through both leisure and labor, we discover creativity, develop talents, earn rewards, and positively shape our communities through dedicating efforts which uplift others. Industry, perseverance, and commitment to improving one's gifts and station in life benefit self and all. Diligence is taking joy and pride in tasks small and large that cultivate the greater whole, our shared world. The next principle from scripture is cherishing relationships. Proverbs 17:17 17, 17 says, a friend loves at all times and a brother is born for a time of adversity. Valuing the people who surround us with care, encouragement and shared moments is a foundation for well-being that the Bible speaks to. Strong relationships built on trust, understanding, compromise, and mutual uplifting take time to cultivate but yield bountiful rewards. A caring companion by our sides for both calm days and life storms. By opening our hearts to friendship, family, and community through quality time, empathy, and acts of loving kindness, we create a support system that enriches us all the richer during hard seasons. Fostering close human bonds nourishes emotional and even physical health according to numerous studies. Remembering this and making relationships a priority guides us to lead more meaningful, connected lives filled with purpose greater than any single self. The last lesson I wish to highlight is living ethically through moral integrity. In 2 Corinthians 1.12 it says, We conduct ourselves in the world with openness, honesty, and genuine concern for others. 
The Bible calls us again and again to walk uprightly in both small matters and large. It advocates speaking truth, keeping promises, taking responsibility for missteps, respecting boundaries, avoiding harm to others or temptations towards dishonest gain. Living with solid character anchored to virtuous principles lays a sure foundation even when we stray, for upon realizing our flaws, we can correct course through humility, learn from mistakes, and reaffirm commitments to morality. Strong ethics allow life's challenges to surface us not just wiser, but better, as people of our word who uplift communities through setting good examples. This empowers positive change and leaves lasting good influence. In closing, I hope this longer explorations of key principles from the Bible gave you fresh perspectives and renewed encouragement for your daily living. Within its sacred text are timeless wisdoms that still call us higher to cultivate compassion, character, purpose and peaceable living that lifts society as a whole. We can find guidance by opening our hearts and seeking insights applicable to each new season. Though challenges will come, staying rooted to godly virtues empower perseverance. And through serving one another in kindness as our faith directs us each day, we walk securely towards lives of fulfillment and blessing, uplifting not just our own journeys, but all those we encounter along the way. May the light of the Lord continue to guide your path and strengthen your spirit each day. Thank you for joining me in exploring these lessons. I hope you will reflect on them further and seek to incorporate even one principle as you move forward in faith. Let the peace and joy that come from living according to God's word be your compass. I'd like to leave you with one final thought and Bible verse for meditation. Throughout scripture, we are reminded time and again to not be afraid. For when we place our trust fully in God despite circumstances, a calming presence sustains and empowers us. Isaiah 41, 10 Promises Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. In stressful or uncertain times, returning focus to this assurance can still restless waters. Though darkness may come, light and hope endure for those whose lives reflect the eternal light of Christ. My prayer is that all present may walk daily in that light, uplifted by the lessons shared here from our faithful guide, the Bible. May God bless you and keep you this day and evermore. Amen.